bonehead. It says to be sure burning down auto zones is not an optimal way to impose cost on state authorities. It would be, as some interviewed Ferguson residents noted, far more effective to target police department or other property nearer to criminal justice authorities, Bruning suggested, since state authorities are always and everywhere most concerned about capital and business asserts. Yeah, no, they wouldn't raise the taxes on anybody at all, you idiot. It says he fails to realize that the cost will be covered by struggling Ferguson residents through increased taxation and ticketing, not by police or city officials. And we've covered on this show ad nauseum how the, the way that you get tickets are nothing more than fleecing the public of money for nothing. It says the author also goes further into the dumb deal war and attempts to analyze how the economic cost of white police officers killing black suspects would be reduced through rioting. Of course, he makes no mention of the young black male who was shot and set on fire that we already covered in the show. Friends, that is the dumdy of the day, and you are listening to The Correct Views. Sam I.B. DeGangie reporting for The Media Speaks. Thank you for listening, friends. Happy Thanksgiving. Good night, and may God genuinely bless you. Be thankful for that which you don't have. Be thankful for that which you have. And remember, that which you don't have oftentimes isn't, isn't a matter of what you've achieved in life. It's what has been uh, denied you through overtaxation, where you can't open your businesses, through bad politics, and through bad laws. So that which you have, be thankful for. Because I do believe the system holds you back, and you've probably earned much more than you've ever received, because... Of the abuses that I just named and that is why I am out here every day and I am very thankful for every one of you listeners you can donate at the correct views at hotmail.com good night friends and God bless